What does shelter mean? What does it mean when you have it? And what does it mean when you don't have it? I step up high and then bow low. I pat my pockets for my keys. Shelter is both physical and concrete and metaphorical. There's something so sweet about how pieces fit together. You know, the intimacy, the lightheartedness. I push aside the skin of the door. Bombastic, um, noisy, overpowering assault. I adjust my eyes to the dark. Most people will think that shelter, you know, you just think of where you might live. But what you find out through the piece is that it can take on many different meanings uh, on many different levels. It's fun for us to collaborate. We've, we've, I don't know how many pieces we've done up to now, maybe five? Five. Five or so. Um, and Six. I'm sure we'll do more again. I mean, it's, you know, interspersed with every, obviously everyone going off and doing their own compositional, having their own compositional life, but then when we do get together, there's something incredibly fun about it. I mean, it's, it's just, I think it's unusual. There aren't that many um, composers that work so naturally together. We have such a long history together, really, for so many years, just curating together, um, and building an organization together. And it's fun to not be the only person putting all the pieces together. There's a kind of magic in to see, well, what are Michael and David doing? You know, it's, you know, what's going to come out. I'm really, I, I mean, I kind of wait to see, well, what's your section like? I mean, and I think that um, there's a kind of magic in it that's, that's like channeling, coming from somewhere else. I mean, it's not even so planned. Like what David is saying, we, we've known each other for a long time. It's, just, it's a certain magic. There's been some um, joy in being able to do these projects jointly. And um, um, I think that the freedom of them also the big topic like shelter it's it's kind of in a certain sense a meditation and a poem that you know where we can each express ourselves uh, without being feeling too confined I think you also sort of um, there's a you know at least for me there's a kind of a puzzle um, part of it which is when I work on these projects, like when you work on a project and it's all yours and you're doing it from start to finish, you're responsible for the whole flow of it and you have to do the sections which build up to the things which you're really excited about, but you may actually not be so interested in that build up, you have to just build it up, right? Um, here, I'm always trying to guess, okay, well, if I were Julie, this is what I would do, so I'm gonna do that instead. And that way, you know, that I'm, of course, I don't know what you're doing, and then I get surprised by it. But um, but I'm trying to figure out well, where can my little contribution go? It's a very different job than being responsible for, you know, it's like all the parts of it. I think. Yeah, and it's interesting also for decisions to be made collaboratively. You get to think about it with your friends, and right. it's not so lonely. It's kind of nice. That's really true. It's really important.